What's up, guys? Welcome back to Whiskey Dixon. I'm Sugar Bear. And I'm Petey. And we're reviewing Whistle Pig 10 Year Single Barrel Rye today. Now, this comes in at 57.8% alcohol by volume, 115.5 proof. Ooh, wait. I like that. That'll, that'll get you drunk. Uh, well, it won't get you sober, that's no, for sure. No, this, this will not help with that at all. Let's, uh, let's dig into this. Um, I believe it's what like 95% rye probably it's normally what they do it doesn't say on it um, whistle pig so whistle pig comes out of Vermont we've, we've reviewed a few whistle pigs but basically farm distillery out of Vermont they're growing their own rye on site they actually grow their own oak trees around the distillery that they make their own barrels out of so it's really like a farm to farm to glass sort of operation on the nose pretty classic whistle pig nose not like a typical rye it's i wouldn't say it's sweet. that spicy i would say sweet i would say fruity Maybe even floral oh, there's a little bit of floral mm -hmm. actually for 57 percent, that's not bad like that's not real real harsh um I almost wouldn't even guess this is a rye till the finish, and then all that, all the minty it peppermint come notes come there. out. Yeah, and it's a lingering rye. Oh yeah, actually, that's a very building. This is definitely the spiciest whistle pig I've had mm -hmm. so far. Um, definitely, uh, definitely not your first rye. No, this is a little more. You know, try build a few it. other ryes. Yeah. Build yourself up for this. Um, that's really nice. Though. It's it's almost creamy on the mouthfeel. I would say I'm getting some weird notes too. Like I'm getting like yogurt in there. Mm -hmm. Getting a, a cherry note. A lot of cinnamon. Even on the nose now that I've taken a, a sip. Lot of spice. I'm smelling a lot of baking spices. Yeah. Definitely. That's nice. Now that's a that's the quality I, I've learned to expect from Whistle Pig is they're nothing but top-notch whiskey and this is just another What's up awesome there? example this is the oldest whistle pig I've tried so far mm -hmm. um, and you can taste it this is a lot more oak I have um, we reviewed the farm stock rye last time that was almost no oak that was almost more like a scotch whiskey this is a way oakier way more rye spice definitely in your face and also I mean yeah you're talking this is a cask strength so it's definitely gonna gonna punch you in the mouth a little bit. It is a little numbing, actually. Now as I keep drinking it, I uh, my mouth's getting a little numb. Like uh, Szechuan peppers. A little bit, a little yeah. bit. There you go. Yeah. A little spicy. Ooh, spicy and numbing, definitely. Oh, that warms you up. That's like that's some cold weather whiskey, mm -hmm. right there. Um, yeah, I think I already went over like you know Dave Pickerel is the former. Uh, head distiller for these guys, former head distiller from Maker's Mark, passed away fairly recently. Um, I'm not sure who is actually overseeing operations at Whistlepig at this moment, but uh, so far it just seems like business as usual. They're just cranking out amazing mm -hmm. whiskey. So uh, yeah, another another good, uh, good Whistlepig. I would even say on the finish, after the mintiness goes away, maybe there's like a, like a rose note, like a mm -hmm. dark, darker fl floral notes. Um, a little bit. Really nice stuff. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, price point. I think this comes in around here. This comes in around. I've seen it as low as like seventy. I've seen it as high as like ninety. So it comes in comes in around that range. So not the cheapest thing, but nothing from Whistle Pig is cheap. That's what we have learned. Uh, so yeah, no, I'm 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 very happy with this. Yeah. Um, I don't know any final thoughts. If you like rides that are aggressive, you'll probably like this. So yeah. It's not an overly aggressive. It's not like a real green tasting mm -hmm. rye. From the it's cast minty. Strength. Yeah, it yeah, definitely yeah. is the minty. Yeah. It's aggressive purely because of the proof, yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, but yeah, as far as like it's not like an MGP rye where it's really like pickly tasting and like green. Uh, this is a bit more a bit more yeah, floral, oaky, more balance going on here. Yeah. Um I guess that about wraps it up, you know, Sugar Bear, Petey, uh, smash the like button, uh, check us out on Instagram, 
let us know if there's any other rise we need to be reviewing right now. I know we've been we've been kind of slacking on the rise, so we tried to break out a pretty nice one. Uh, till next time, cheers. Keep on drinking, Whiskey Dixon. Nostrovia. Thank you.